What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Magic Online in real life on the internet, but at my house draft. Open up the shade. We ain't taking no shade. I will take this Song of Fraley's. I think Fight with Fire is great, and I've, I've died to it more than one time. But Song's a really good build around, so. Easy? You think Fight with Fire over, over Song? I would have said this maybe a week and a half ago. I would have said Fight with Fire over Song. But everyone's convinced me to be Song. Yeah, we're going to go Song. Song is a build around her. That's why he's got to refill the tub. Yeah, because it's all in the bathroom. I think it's Song here. Pick Song. Get past no green cards. Ancient Animus is a decent green card, but this blue is out of control. Raft, Wizard's Retort. Cloud Reader Sphinx. Academy Drake. Even the white is good. I'm going to let everyone else fight over that. And I'm going to take this Ancient Animus. The problem with taking uh, with taking Knight is that I don't think it's actually good in this archetype. Like, and that, and what I mean by that is you don't want to be green-white. Although, this pack is also not great. We could Slin Vada and ramp into Slin Vada. I feel like we've tried this before, right? Actually, Green White is fine. Maybe Green White is fine because I'm thinking like they do have Sergeant at Arms, they do have Call the Cavalry. Maybe that's correct, I mean. Actually, yeah, all right. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I like Honor Guard better than Skin Witch. Maybe. Take Honor Guard. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna do we're gonna do the the the, the green the white thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a thing. We'll figure it out. All right, now I just want Thalid Omnivore. God, this blue man. I'm so here's the thing. We could have actually taken Raph. We could have taken Cloud Reader Sphinx. We could have taken Academy Dream Mage. The problem is that. I'm actually recording these drafts for entertainment value as well, so when they're on YouTube, I don't want people to be like, oh, you only draft blue decks. I don't want to watch this anymore. I want to try different things. So, I'm pretty sure we can get another gift if we want one, whereas Thalid Omnivore is pretty much busted in this archetype. Speak of the devil. I kind of want Misha's Self-Replicator in here with Song of Fraley's. Oh, uh, I like Spider a lot. All right, now we're just going to cut all the green. There's a fly in here. Oh, my God, just get out of my face. God, you're making me crazy. I like this and this. Oh, trigger it with the song. And you can tap the original with the, uh, with the song. Put all the counters on your guys with the song. You know what's happening. I'm going to take this guy because that is the dude that we want here. Feral Abomination is actually just fine. Last time I tuned in here, we had two slime foot. All right, that's, yeah, we did that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woodland Cemetery could wheel. That'd be sick. Oh, the sickest. Get rewarded. Everybody win. Fungal infection. Yeah, all right. Everything's coming together. Put you in the sideboard. This guy, this guy. 
I, I'm growing to love Mammoth Spider as well because it gives like the blue and black deck or the green and black decks a way to. Uh, I'm almost tempted to play Zalfir and Void. If this was whenever historic, eh, it couldn't be because their spells not necessarily permanence. This guy could make the cut. We'll see. Oh, well, I guess we just take this one. Or we can take the... Lingering Phantasm could be better. Yeah, I don't think I care about the Void that much. Mm, Bells and Lock. Rat Colony. Oh, there he is. Not the, not the Mythic we're looking for, but... That's a good one. That is a gem. I would love to take this settle the score, but why did you when when did you when did you get a self replicator? That was like pack pick three. Yeah, we're just gonna take Multani and uh, be grateful for it. I actually love Thorn Elemental, but I think Sap Herd is probably better with our Song of Fraley's deck. In fact, I'm pretty sure I know it is. Spore Swarm. That's exactly what we want. We passed like three Shauna's total. No, I think it's two. I think they were both in this pack. I want this Vicious Offering to come back, but we're going to take Spore Swarm because, again, Thalid Omnivore, uh, Song of Fraley's. Gorger's also fine, but we want to go wide with Song. Oh, Multani, Multani. Oh, I'm going to take Eldest Reborn without even really looking at the rest of this pack. There's nothing else good in here. Eldest Reborn is pretty legit. That's a pretty easy pick. Llanowar Elves. I like this Dark Bargain. I hope we can get a Dark Bargain because I think it's pretty good. But Llanowar Elves is pretty good. Another Spider... Giant Gift of Growth. So return two lands you control with our owner's hand. Return from your grave. That's unbelievable. This card is just unbelievable, dude. I don't actually like Memorial. I think Spiders probably... I think Replic... Juggernaut could actually be good, too. I think Spiders are actually probably pretty good. Oh, I think Gift of Gift of Growth is pretty good. Um, the problem is that like you can actually get them pretty late, so you don't have to actually rush to to pick up a gift. And it untaps the guy, which I think is completely uh, underrated. God, how many how many Zelfir and voids are we gonna find? I'm gonna I'll I mean I'll probably play as many fungal infections as we can get. This deck's looking great though. Uh, I haven't made a mono red deck. I've, I've consistently been able to make uh, red blue decks, though, which probably have a similar feel, I bet. Uh, Crossanger is a card I actually don't mind having at least one of in my deck. 
I wonder if Nature Spiral's any good when you're returning like Eldest Reborn or Song of Frailies. I wonder if that's any good. I think the format might be too fast for that. Oh, Pierce the Sky is definitely a card I want in the sideboard, but Dark Bargain I'll just actually play in the main deck. Yeah, I'm just going to take Dark Bargain. I already have two Mammoth Spiders, so I'm not too concerned. Ah, Thorn Elemental coming back is actually insane. Broken Bond is exactly what we want as well. All right, this deck is giving me everything we want. Fungal Infection number three, which I will pretty easily play. And there's the gift that we were talking about. Yeah, Thorn, Thorn Elemental Wheeling was pretty insane. And Gift of Growth coming back is just like we said. And another no. Wow, this pack is actually terrible for us. We could splash the Inbolus' clutches. <laughs> the best card in this pack is a sideboard card for us. We can take Urza's Tome, but I'm not really... Not really thrilled on it. Hmm. Deck needs removal? We have triple fungal infection. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you even saying right now? Yeah, I'm not a really big Urza's Tome fan. I think it's just Pierce the Sky for the sideboard. Like, this is really, this is a sad pack. I mean, ideally someone passes us a Lyra, but... Oh, talk about removal, right? I'll just take an Eviscerate. Seems pretty good. That was a pretty easy pick. I mean, I don't think we're actually building around Mishra, right? Like, we just happen to have Eldest Reborn, Multani, Song of Frailies. I guess that's not great. I'll put you in the sideboard. I do like an Ancient Animus. That is a, uh, that is a removal spell that I'm okay with having. I, w I wouldn't mind more two drops. How many rat colonies do we have now? Three? Just one. I thought we had more than that. God, no weight of memory and a blink. Whatever, I'll take a rat colony. Rats aren't terrible with song. You're not. You're not wrong. Oh, another sap herd. That's actually the sap herd around the world. Yuck! 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 I mean, some consideration to Thalid Omnivore, but I think sap herd is just the better card. Well, for us anyway. Uh, I think it's just Stronghold Confessor. I don't, I don't hate Llanowar Scout, but Confessor is actually a pretty good card.
Howling Golem? I don't think we're playing it. I don't think we're playing a second gift either. Or a second, or a, or a first lingering phantasm for that matter. Yeah, I'll just take the golem. It's probably the only thing we're gonna play. I, I got excited thinking this was another Eldest Reborn, but it's it is not. I'll, I'll take it anyway. Nah. Take a Guardians, whatever. Yep. Eh, I might even play Zalfir and Void, especially because we have Woodland Cemetery. Arbor Armament is a card that I've actually boarded in before because of the reach and the counter. So. Yeah, this deck looks good. I'll play three Fungal Infections. <laughs> sure, why not? I don't actually hate Scout ramping into... Uh, Turn five, Thor Elemental. That is not the worst. Hmm. I don't think anything else in the sideboard is getting played here. I wonder how many rats are reasonable. Yeah, no one's ever going to expect a third fungal. Or the Spanish Inquisition, for that matter. Yeah, and we got the Broken Bond and the Pierce the Sky. Those are, those are the sideboard cards you really want. 7-9. Our deck is not very mana intensive, so I think we can actually get away with the Void. Do we want Dark Bargain in the deck? Oh, 100%. Why wouldn't we? What would we even cut for it? None of our... I mean, Dark Bargain's great. I would play Dark Bargain... Dark Bargain Standard. Zaxor, we're in the same draft? Unbelievable. Uh, I didn't even know we had Feral Abomination in the deck. I, I totally forgot about that guy. I'll keep this hand. It's slow, but... Three rats, I'd bargle a Yargle and Standard. That's a... Mm, interesting. What's going on, John? Good seeing you as always. Look, we got a three mana, six mana, seven mana, eight mana. Perfect. Hmm. I came here from YouTube. <laughs> Greetings, I come from YouTube. Oh, I see. Well then. Don't make me regret our friendship, my friend. Ba -ba -bong 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 -bong. I am getting dubbed on. You ain't wrong. Dub City. I'm actually watching this on YouTube. Oh my god. This is like YouTubeception. This is like Watchception. I'll take four again. Both of these guys are going to tap for mana next turn, so I get to spend all five of it, even if I... Or all four of my mana, even if I play a song. So if we draw another two drop, we don't, we don't have another two drop. If we draw one drop... But 
one in your hand. Crying out loud. I'm going to play Song, and play Elf, play Druid. Or we just play Elf and attack Karn, which is probably... I'm going to put this guy on the bottom. I just don't care about him that much. <laughs> I just don't care about you that much. I'm just not that into you. One, two, three. Yeah, I'd rather save the Crossan Druid. I feel like the life's going to be more relevant. next time we get one two three four five six seven eight mana so we can either kick druid or play feral abomination you remember some of my sub just from youtube thank you so much man really appreciate it i'll i'll take that we can take four here go to four go to eight and then we can essentially be at four thanks to uh oh they're just gonna put the call in the hand all right So they have Call Barrage. And I'm sure they're going to play Call here. Like you do. That was a good draw. So next turn, all these guys get buff. Uh, you can have the thank you. Adamant Will. Evil, thank you so much for the sub. Way to come through, buddy. Really appreciate the support. Welcome from YouTube. Glad you can finally catch the stream and uh, show you show, show the appreciation. Show the love, as it were. So we can have Crossan Druid gain 10 at some point. We also have Thorn Elemental. And uh, next turn, all these guys are getting significantly larger. And we can probably kill Karn. And now that we know they have Adamant Will in hand. Sure. I guess we're going to four. Well, I cannot block your guy because he has Manasio. Six, seven. So. All right, so they have an artifact. Oh, they can make an artifact with Karn. We actually have to all go at Karn here. Actually, no, we don't. Three, four, five, six, seven. These guys have trample, so we just have to put 10 at Karn. Which is might as well be all of it, I guess.
So they have three, four, five, six, seven. They can go double block here. One gets through. Actually, we might just be able to go one to the face. Yeah, we can go one at face, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. We're dealing six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But then they can block here. So I guess that's that's kind of silly. Six. Oh, actually, no, this one goes to the face. These go to Karn. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's perfect. I forgot about Death Touch, actually. That's a good point. No one ever uses Death Touch like that, so... <laughs> five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are one away. Yeah, I totally forgot about... Trample and Death Touch is such a, like, uh, such a rare ability that, like, gets utilized very infrequently. Okay, so these are these uh we know you have Adamant Will in hand and Goblin Barrage, which we gave you, so They don't have an artifact to sacrifice, they don't have a goblin to sacrifice, so that's Okay, that's neither. Which is okay. Well, that's a little rough, but not great. Oh, this guy has haste? One, two. Wow, that actually kills us. That's that's utterly insane. <laughs> wow. Block, block, block. We take four, yeah. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, so we saw Broken Bond comes in. Yeah, that was pretty ridiculous. Also, whatever we didn't block, they had adamant will, so. is bad. The sand is better. Uh, I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to get greedy with the... Uh Yeah, I feel like that first game was like, I mean, I guess this happens when you just draft a Karn, right? Get rewarded. <laughs> that is your, Karn is your reward. If I was in, if I had a gun and two bullets, and I was room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. <laughs> God, poor Toby. I'll just take two here. We have this. We also have a three-three.
No, this guy actually does something, so. Mm. Okay, that's a trade, I guess. I'm waiting for the radiant lightning. Oh, now here come in. All right, well, they didn't do anything that turn, which is nice for us. Careful if they have Karn, they probably have a history of banality to go with it. Yeah, you're probably right. That's also pretty good. I've come to Dark Bargle. I mean, Star Angel is pretty much like a Lyra, right? Basically the same card. Our opponent's deck is very good. We have two Mammoth Spiders. Can you show me where they are? Yeah, where are my spiders at? Oh, Ancient Animus is not bad. I'm just going to get aggressive. B. Aggressive. B. B. Aggressive. I mean, I'm assuming they can't deal us 10 damage this turn, right? Famous last words. Here comes Dub Quende. Actually, is that what we want to do? Do we just trade these two? Then we're losing these two for this guy. I mean, we can just block here. We take seven. We go to three. We can also just shoot this guy like this. We'd still take seven. I don't think we care about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. You can have it. You're tapped out. That's fine. And they should be dead here. 
I can't imagine they can come back next turn after we. Uh, <clears throat> Now we're at 13, so I assume it's even harder for them to win than it was when we were at 10. Oh, I feel it coming. What is this, live that I'm singing? I'm going to bring in Pierce the Sky now, too, because we noticed you have Sarah Angel in your decorino. We also have Eviscerate. We have Double Mana Spider. Jester Pooh, enjoy your Chinese, buddy. Overseer number two? What's Overseer number two? Oh, even if it was overseer number two, like it's still they're they're in worse shape than they were last turn. Uh, I'm gonna take a feral abomination. Yeah, abomination's pretty weak. I'm going to keep this just because the void. And we got a fungal infection for early stuff. This is a risky hand, but I think the, the void makes it... It's almost like uh, it's almost like we mulliganed without mulliganing and got to scry. Mm, I want a forest. No two drop. All right, that's definitely not a forest. All right, here we go. We're gonna lose because we kept the two land hand with a Zalfir and Void, which is basically like a two land hand with free scry, and I don't understand. What is happening? Crying out loud, seriously? Come on. Oh, that's obnoxious. Sure. I mean, we've been to a, a swamp, but the only thing a swamp can do is be a swamp. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. Sarah Angel. It's a satisfying use of a fungal infection. Now we got a game. I should have mulliganed this hand, but I was busy talking to you. That's a satisfying use of a fungal infection. We're just going to take four because next turn we get to go song and have five mana available. <clears throat> Which does a lot of things. Fungal infection one time. Do 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 do
Like, if you're going to insist on killing this guy, I'll get my value out of it. I was just going to kill this guy, but now you made me mad, so. Oh, and you get a blocker? Oh, man, this is great. Now I feel like this game is, oh, this game is crazy good now. We got Dark Bargain, Pierce the Sky, so we're not really worried about your, your Sarah Angel this turn. Yeah, that's more annoying, but not by much. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Keep you. Keep you. Seems fine. I think that might be the first time we drew Eviscerate, yeah. If we can draw Spore Infestation off the top, that would be absolutely insane. Because then we can play it in response to the trigger, which is a really cool ability. One time, just one time. Spore Sprout, not Spore, not Spore Infestation. I don't know what Spore Infestation is. Goblin Barrage. Wow. The fear here is real. It's actually pretty good. I like that we can actually wait to use that too. That's pretty cool. Our hand is just insane. I'm pretty sure we uh, we can't lose this game, despite being at twelve. Unless, or despite being at seven, unless they have like an absolutely brutal. Yeah, that's actually pretty annoying. Oh my god! One turn away. Oh, brutal. All right, so they're going to have two cards in hand, so they can't cast Squee and play both of their cards. So we can assume they're going to either discard a... They're probably going to discard a card here unless they go land, just play whatever they have. There's the land. And... Okay, so they're just going to discard a land here. Or they're going to play that. This is a frightening Squee. What can we get back with their... It's probably just Kelden Raider here. That's got to be the best card in the graveyards, right? Oh, Thorn Elemental. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, this rate's a sorcery, so that doesn't work. I also don't care if I gain control of Squee. Like, I'd rather just have Thorn Elemental. What I don't want, however, is to have to deal with uh, a squee with with a frenzied rage on him. I'm just gonna play land here. <clears throat> yeah, Thor Elemental's pretty good. Man, this was the difference between having six more two, six more power on board and two twos, and not having six more power on board on two twos. Pretty significant difference. The problem is if they have Keldon Overseer number two against us, it's pretty scary. We're also two away from killing them, so... What do you use for green screen? Uh, I don't know. I just bought it on Amazon. It's just a cloth. What do you use for green screen? Got him. 
Yep, that's fine. That's annoying because it makes our spore swarm less profitable, but... What does that do? I guess it makes alphaing pretty effective, right? So if we kill this, they end up going block 2-1, block 1-1. One, one. They take, I guess we could just attack with Thorn Elemental and call it a day, right? <laughs> My green screen is a D's. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, just take seven. All right, so it's, this guy costs eight, right? No, it costs seven, okay, well. No Keldon Overseer or Bust. That's what we're going for here. Oh, man. Woo, what a game. What a match. After that first game, I was like, oh, I don't think we can beat this deck. And then after that second game, I was like, oh, we can beat this deck. And after that third game, I was like, hey, we beat this deck. That's the progression of that, that match in my brain. It actually is a Mountain Dew Waterfall. That is correct. I didn't want to. I didn't want to spill the secret, but... I actually like our deck a lot. I'm going to keep this hand 1,000% of the time because of Multani alone. Yeah, they win game one with Karn. They lose game two and three. It just, Planeswalkers and Limited require so much effort. Like, even if the ability is not that great, even if you generate, like, 33% more of a card every turn, right? Like, not a lot. The, the, the amount of focus you have to put on the Planeswalker before they dominate the game is so exhausting. What'd they hit? Lenore Elves? Okay. I have three Fungal Reborns. Fungal Reborns? Fungal Infection. <laughs> the Fungal Reborn. Oh, what up, eating a sandwich? Hello. Got him. That's sad. All of this is very sad. I just want to hit a land here, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Oh, Fungal Infection and a Swamp? I will take both of those. Dark Bargain, man. Such a good card, dude. Not even going to waste any time there because I don't want you to get... I don't want you to get value out of the mana, right? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Dark Bargle. Oh, isn't that something? I might actually just... I, just, I might just Animus here. I don't think they have... There's no creatures in the graveyards that I really care about at the moment, so... And they're just going to sacrifice this guy. Actually, 
if they do that, that's fine. I think they're going to sack this guy, which uh, I don't mind getting that guy back either, so. Our hand is pretty insane. Yeah, that was actually the guy I hoped they sacrificed. Because I want to be able to get it back and get a free land, which lets us play either Multani or Thorn Elemental, depending on where we're at. This deck has turned out quite well. And I like that we can use Multani as the... Uh, as the art. As the thumbnail. Discard your card. Oh, that's a cute skin witch you got there. You. Yeah, Fungal Plots foils that. That's fine. I can just get back one of my own guys. Now I'll just get back this guy. You gonna sack your guy in response? That'd be cool. Do that. No? Okay. I figured you just want to draw the card. This is where they're like, well, that's hard to deal with. Is 6 6 reach trample good? I don't know. If I hit a land, is 7 7 reach trample good? Oh, make it one. Oh, you just. Oh, see, this is. Instead of making a guy, they actually drew a card, which you can kind of tell is a. That's what's known as a desperation maneuver to try to hit a thing. And a thing being anything that deals with Multani, which I don't think they have right now. Also, being able to untap with Ancient Animus times two on Multani is pretty good. I'm probably just going to target my own thing because otherwise they exile it, so. Why doesn't Multani have Vigilance? Is that too good? Okie dokie. I feel like our board is better. I don't know. Fungal infection on a 1-1. One -one. Sure. Draw a card. Oh, make, a, make, another, make another sprout. Draw a card now. Two Sprouts. Sprout City. They're going to make that, that wild onslaught get all the value they can. Are they going to try to chump block Multani? I don't know what's happening right now. Four mana for Gift and then uh, Ancient Animus maybe? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Is he a tree? He is a an elemental avatar. Aren't we all, though? You know? Did they not... What happened? They just played a spider?
Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. His art kind of... Well, I think he is a tree. I think an elemental is a tree, basically. This dude's a tree. Let's be real. He's 100% tree. <laughs> Welcome to the forest. I don't like your mammoth spider. I will deal you seven damage. This is a song I wrote about. This is a song I wrote about a, a whale. No. This is a song about being happy. Coming out my Multani, bro? Oh, you're just drawing a card. <laughs> oh, boy. None of these cards are doing it. Okay, they're just going to be like, Land of War Elf. Concede. All right, so we only saw one Fungal Plots. So I don't think... I don't know if Broken Bond is good enough to come in. We also only... We didn't see any Flyers. Oh, I like a blessing on a Multani, but that is our only legendary guy, so. I also don't feel like we need it. We have Gift and Double Ancient Animus. Our deck seems great. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess all that up. Oh, this hand is gas. <clears throat> Turn one land or else. No? You got two of them, though. You got two of them. I feel like the more time our opponent gives us, the better off our deck performs. What's it gonna be? Is it Sap Herd City? That guy's a little skitter. Gonna play double swamp so we can actually like double fungal infection a thing, but I didn't feel like that was gonna be common. I also didn't even think about it, so. I also don't care. <laughs> God, he's so carefree. What a free spirit. However, if they play something relevant or scary here, nothing? What is happening? Hmm. I feel like Dalad Omnivore is a safe play here. Being green-black, they probably just have Eviscerate if they have a removal spell for this. Ancient Animus doesn't do it. Settle the Score doesn't do it. Um, Settle the Score is a sorcery, right? Here we go. Wild Onslaught. That's nah, not a Wild Onslaught. I'm pretty sure we can just pick off some of these. I'm actually going to kill this guy immediately. Maybe. I guess we'll attack first. Yeah, I don't want you drawing any cards. You keep what you have, buddy. Ah, oh, they could have Vicious Offering. That's correct. Yeah, that's an option. Triggered. I kind of want to hit lands here. I'm 
That's a good way of hitting lands. Also, when we have double Fungal Infection and Spore Swarm, and this guy gains two life every time we sack a Sapperling, I'm not too worried about life. Triple Fungal Infection, good lord. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. The problem is if we have if they have gift, we lose a guy. I'm just gonna block. Okay, well, that's good. Grun. That's less good right now. What do we got? Six mana? We're just going to pass here. Like, we can play Swarm and activate it twice, activate twice, or we can play Swarm Fungal Infection, activate once. Uh, this is six mana. This is a guy. This guy taps for mana. I don't know if you knew this about uh, Len War Elf, but he taps for mana. Oh, what up, Grun? Yum, 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 yum. <sighs> These do make Eldest Reborn worse. deal with Grun. <laughs> we can't chump block forever. Or can we? 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9, 9. We can actually sack four guys. Ugh. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 3. Make them an 11, 11. Oh, actually, Fungal with Trigger on the stack seems like gas. Makes him an 8-8, eight, 3-3, eight, three, three, five, five, seven, seven. We have sack, sack three guys then. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. That seems like that seems great. Double Fungal seems even better. And then our... I do want to kill your, your tiny guys. I'm afraid of Wild Onslaught and, like, combat tricks here, like, immensely. We just ate that grun. That was a two for one. Two fungal infections for a grun. And we gained four life. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight creatures. We have five. That guy's fine. Eldest Reborn's going to make them sack just a sapperling. But we still get a grunt at some point. I just want to get this down so we can get back either Grun or uh, Death Bloom Thalad. Or not Death Bloom Thalad, uh, Thalad Soothsayer, rather. Because with all the sap herds we have, it's pretty good. Mm, it's fine. Oh, actually, we can discard Thorn Elemental. And... Probably Spider. I mean, we can play both of these guys. Both of these guys are better with Song. Both of these guys are better with Death Bloom Thalad if we get that back. So, I'm okay with that. Really? This is a good attack, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. We get to go double sap herd. They have no cards. All right, sure. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I wonder if Deathbloom Thal is just better, or uh, I keep saying Deathbloom Thal, Thal is Soothsayer is just better here because we have so many guys to sacrifice. Like, I, I really like Thorn Elemental here, but... One, two, three, four, they just triple block here and they still get a 1-1 one, one out of it and then we just don't have anything else on board. Grun is also a 10-10, which is probably better. Three, four, five, six, seven. They should chump block it forever, though. I'm, I might just want Soothsayer to draw cards. I'm going to get the Grun. It's a lot of pressure. They also can't block this guy profitably. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. If they don't block, we could actually kill them with a Thalus Soothslayer here. Yeah, this guy's just an Abyss now. I mean, Grun is attacking as a 10-10. Thorn Elemental just gets to kill these three guys, so it's basically you're trading for two Sap Herders, which are not exciting. Also in Abyss. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, believe me, I know I know I'm familiar with how Gron works, my friend. I'm gonna gain ten. The song is gonna see Shivan Fire. Oh, it's the crossfire song. It's the Crossfire theme song to the, to the old Crossfire board game. Look that up. You'll get caught up in the Crossfire. None of our dudes have Trample. That's what you're saying right now.
Wow, I like that Beer Man Man and, and Biovisionary just posted the same exact YouTube link. They just like, we both found it. Okay. Oh, they have wild onslaught. No, they have giant. They have giant growth. Me too. Me too. Squirrelmonger, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the sub and the support. Really appreciate it. When, when both you and your opponent's last cards in hand are Gift of Growth. Just one of those days. It's one of those gift, just one of those Gift of Growth days, guys. And Alpha. <laughs> like, you have to block this guy and you have to block this guy, so... Oh, dang. That was a good draw. <laughs> yep. We're still real ahead right now. Kill all the saprlings. I mean, we're at 17. We don't need the life now, so. I guess just chum block grunt, right? <laughs> nah, you just take five. Yeah, our board's pretty good still. So if you block here, we can kill you with this guy. If you block here, these guys kill you, so. Did you top deck something that's not a land? Wow, they have three slime feet in their deck? That's insane, dude. Wow, that's insane. That's crazy, dude. No, he no, he was referring to the two three that makes saprolings. Three slime feet. Wow, slimy feet all day. Our deck is pretty insane. Oh, keep this hand every day of the week. This is our best hand yet. And they mulliganed. They basically already won, right? Same. Ooh, aggressive. I thought it was going to be a Danitha. This is much better for us. <laughs> that card's good, though. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can keep you. We don't really need anything else right now. So, next time we're gonna go Omnivore into Dark Bargain, and then we have six mana at least. So, oof, that's a thing. All right.
right, we're bargaining. We have no reason to bottom this card. Like we have to assume that our the top card underneath this would be better. And if it's just it was just if it was a land, like meh. Oof. Oof. Fashionably on time to the party, Eviscerate. How to Draw Well 101 by Frank Lepore. Multani. That's not a Multani at all. I mean, we're at seven mana already, so this is a fair trade. We are going to play this now in case we hit, like, a song or something. Thorn of Fungal Infection. I will keep both of these. Dang. Just keep you off that mana. Our deck is great. I don't think there's any like good flash creatures that you can play here, so. You could have Gideon's approach, but I mean against Dalad Omnivore it doesn't doesn't feel great. Oh, you you might regret this, my friend. Gain casual ten next turn with Thorn Elemental on board. Seems good. Oh, and that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. So we didn't see any flyers. We saw this big beefy. We saw this guy. So we're definitely bringing in uh, Broken Bond. The name is Bond. Broken Bond. I think that's probably all we want for now. I think we can go without Pierce the Sky. Excuse me while I pierce the sky. <laughs> This deck has been... Oh, also we have double Mammoth Spider, which makes me significantly less afraid of floats. Oh, this hand seems very keepable. We're not getting bogged down with useless cards like Lana War Elf, if you know what I mean. But if our opponent gets bogged down with Lana War Elf... <laughs> yeah, that's a good card. Thankfully, the sapperling is green. Ha ha! I will. T it's like I stole their sapperling. Zaxor, if you went 3-0, it's going to be funny if I also 3-0, because then the two 3-0 decks came from the same draft pod, which is very unlikely. Not unlikely, but, like, uncommon, rather. Yeah, I'll take two there. This Knight of Grace is pretty obnoxious, but... We take three next turn. <laughs> My 
Bolas. He's behind everything. <laughs> oh. I really don't want this to get out of control. I think I don't think it's there yet though, so we can just play this. We just need a creature that's bigger than two two. <laughs> we can eviscerate and actually play it. You know, like a Multani. We can draw a Multani and a land. Those are the next two draws, and we can go next turn eviscerate, next turn Multani and Thorn Elemental. And it's all downhill from there. For our opponent, not for us. Now I will. Oh, I can't. I was like, now I will block your guy, but no, it's got float, so. Oh, that's a that's a big that's a big that's a big boy. All right, well we hit land. It's weird still killing the Pegasus Courser when you have Mana Spider on board, but I mean we can deal with we can go two two one on the Spider, and we're just trading one Yavamaya Shepherd for one Mammoth. All right, Multani off the top is what uh. Is what we're looking for here. My God, sap herds, sap herds for days, boy. All right, so this is pretty good. I don't actually want to make this guy bigger. Is the problem. But I do feel like we have to increase our board a little bit. So here we go, three two now. I guess we can still double block here, and it's fine. So. Also, I don't think they have profitable attacks here, unless they, short of like a charge or a wild onslaught. Oh, Christ, they have it. <laughs> oh, God. I guess we got to play like they have it, right? Or play like they don't have it. Is what I meant to say. Sure, these are blocks. Oh god, if they have it, it's gonna be so bad. They have two cards in hand. Oh, they have it. Wild onslaught. Yeah, I can't beat that. Like we gave we gave it the absolute worst blocks, assuming they didn't have it. So whatever. I still don't think Pierce, Pierce the Sky is worth it. We only saw one flyer so far. And we still have double spider of our own, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned with Pegasus Courser. All right, let's try a little bit better. We're on the draw, or on the play, rather. Our hand was fine, but it was just a little slow, and it didn't really do a tremendous amount, so... Let's actually draw a Multani and, and play it in our match. That feels good to everybody, right? Oh, this hand is weird, but I'll keep it. It has a lot of things that are cool. A lot of cool things. I don't know if this is a 3-0 hand, I'll be honest with you guys. Especially when the... If we get a Fungal Infection, though, I think we're... Nope, that wasn't it. If they have Steel Leaf Paladin on turn two. No, okay, good. Steel Leaf Champion? I don't know what that card's called. Courser? Hmm. All right, we're getting somewhere. Uh, if we win, should I say this is for 11 Secret Herbs and Spices? This is for my boy. Yeah, that's good. Dude, this one bug is driving me out of my gourd. Oh my god, I just can't get him. I 
I mean, I just hope they don't play anything here, right? Like, just if they don't play anything, we're good. I'm very sad and have never kissed a girl. Oh my god. The sadness is so real. You'll find love. God, oh, they're going to play a five drop. I guess me too. Bruh. Oh my god. What the crap, man? Come on, don't be like this. Oh boy, they get a lot of mana this turn. I think we're dead. Like next turn we can actually go Gift of Growth on our spider, Animus to kill the their spider, and then Broken Bond to kill their song. We don't have a third green though, so that's gonna be a problem. Dear God. So we have to broken bond. None. I feel like we should have kept the four mana up just to kick this. I guess we can kick here and block and then block. Or block, block, maybe. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I like actually. Hmm. Yep, that's a spider. Eat it. Get in there. Okay. That's a 7-9, good buddy. Put you in your grave. All right, well. Even. Block, block. Then we're on spider duty for us of the game. Yeah, this is fine. I'll go to two. Jesus. And land. Oh, that was a great draw. Wow, we're still alive. Everybody's lethal. So we gotta block four things. We can block something with two. So how does this work out for us?
We lose everything. We get a draw, though. It's 3-2 to two after this, right? Or we could, though, we could, can't, hmm. We could also just block the token. Could block like this. And then we have two guys next turn and a gorger. This might be safer. Actually, at this point, the Lanaware Elf isn't even great. I'd rather have the Sapperling because if we draw Dalad Omnivore, it's very, very good. I don't know if this is the correct block or not, but... Oh, God, that was a great draw. All right. Looks like a game has been initiated. I can has game. Yeah, the discard while onslaught it was great. It was fantastic. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Still not lethal, though. If I can top deck as well, how about a Multani or something good? Oh, come on. <sighs> Get punished for not... You can go block, 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 take two. Oh, get punished for not keeping the Lanowar Elf around. We played we played to our out of uh, Thalad Omnivore rather than Croson Druid. That was a 50-50 there. It might be worth actually just not playing this guy. Like, if we hit a land, we get to do we get to gain 10, which is huge. Whereas right now, we just get to go chump block here, eat you, trade, eat. Yeah, I think we can take one here. I don't like it. If they have any pump spell, we die, sure, but they only have their top decking. Yep, that's a good one. This seems like a risky attack for them. Oh. Land one time. I'll never ask for a land again. It's actually not bad. That gets rid of that actually is perfect. That's like the perfect driver. One? Everyone? Okay. Okay, we're still alive. Now we need that land. We need that land stat! Oh, God, come on, dude. Yeah, Bailoff might have been a choice there. Um, <sighs> play it and hope for another fungal. We we would we, we would die. Literally.
barely have to cast this now. Oh my god, dude. I'm pretty sure if we kept Elf around instead of, uh... If this is a 2-4, oh my god. We're not dead. Well, they keep playing things. Oh my god, come on. Okay, cool. The land we needed. Clearly, if those were in reverse order, we'd be at 12, and it, this wouldn't be a game that we can dark bargain. <sighs> That's stupid. I would love to see my other cards, but they're not going to do that. All right, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Our deck was insane. Um, a couple of misplays, a couple of bad top decks, a couple of bad 50-50 uh, coin flips on things. What can you do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash franklapore if you want to support my content or find new content from me over there. I uh, really appreciate that, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.